Hi everyone, my name is Amy DeYoung and I am a retirement plan specialist here at the First National Bank in Sioux Falls. In my role, we help business owners set up and monitor the retirement plans that their companies offer to their employees. Today I'm going to talk to you about investments because one of the parts of my job is helping the business owners and their employees navigate how to invest their retirement funds. I work closely with our team of investment advisors here at the bank to accomplish this. Now, one of the first questions you may have is, who is an investment advisor? An investment advisor is a professional who manages any funds you choose to keep in an investment portfolio. Now, what makes up an investment portfolio? One of the major parts of an investment portfolio are stocks. Stocks are basically a piece or a share of a company that you own. These can be lots of companies that you're familiar with like Apple, Uber, PayPal, Ford, Coca-Cola, things like that. It can also be small companies or startup companies that you may not be as familiar with. These are the best option for long-term growth potential. The value can go up, or up and down in a stock fund and this is based on the supply and demand of that stock. So if lots of people wanna buy into that stock or lots of people want a piece of that company, the value is gonna go up. However, if lots of people are trying to sell out of that stock, the value goes down. Stocks generally have a higher risk with a higher reward of return. Return is how much money you'll make above the amount you originally put in. The second thing that makes up an investment portfolio is called bonds. Bonds are sort of like an IOU that are issued by corporations as well as the government. These have the possibility to pay you interest and they have moderate risk with a moderate rate of return. These are kind of in the middle of all of your options. The last part that can make up an investment portfolio is a cash account or a money market account. These are pretty stable value. They don't go up and down a lot like the stock market, but these usually pay a small amount of interest, if any. These are way lower risk. However, they usually give the lowest amount of return in an investment portfolio. Generally, you tend to stay in stocks as you're a younger person and then move towards bonds and cash and money markets as you get closer to retirement or older in age. This is because when you're young, you have lots of time to ride the stock market roller coaster up and down before you need to exit the ride and use that money. This is why it's so important to have an advisor like a roller coaster attendant or worker who you can trust because it's their job to make sure your harness is secure for the roller coaster ride. An advisor makes sure that they sell and buy your stocks for you when it makes the most sense and when it gives you the biggest amount of return or the most extra money. It's also important to make sure you're invested diversely. This means that your portfolio is made up of lots of different types of investments. So this is usually a mixture of big companies, smaller or startup companies, maybe real estate, US-based com companies, as well as international companies, and then as well as some stocks, some bonds and cash as well to make a well-rounded portfolio. Personally, I'm currently invested almost in almost 100% stock since I'm still relatively young and I have lots of time to recover if something were to happen to the stock market. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic sort of took a hit in the stock market, but now that I've had the time to recover, my stock has um, come back up in value. Now, there is a difference between saving and investing, and they're both important for your overall financial well-being, but in different ways. A savings account is money that you have direct access to, like at a bank, that you can use in case of emergencies, or if you have a specific purchase that you want to make, like a car or maybe even a pinball machine. But an investment account or portfolio is more for long-term plans. You don't have direct access to this money because your stocks or bonds ownership would need to be sold before you could have the cash 
And the idea, the idea is that you only put money in and not take money out until a much later date down the road. With investments, you risk losing almost all of your money, but you have the potential to earn way more than you started with, which is not the case for a savings account. Now, there are many successful adults in the world that still don't have these topics down, and it can be a little overwhelming to try and keep everything straight. No one is born knowing the difference between a stock and a bond, so it's important to stay informed and stay educated, and you'll be that much closer to being financially savvy. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day.